Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is for you. In this tutorial, we'll be learning all about the CSS transform property. The transform property is a powerful CSS property that can be used to change the position, rotation, scale, and more of almost all HTML elements. First, if you'd like to code along at home, open up Chrome and then go to the web page about colon blank. This will open up a blank web page in Chrome. Next, open your DevTools with Control Shift I on the PC or Command Option I on the Mac. As you can see, here we have an empty page. Now, we're going to add a div tag to our page to work with. So right click the body element and click edit as HTML. Now we're going to add just an empty div tag. When we're editing as HTML, we can add whatever we want. Click outside to finish editing the HTML. Now, if we click inside, we can see here's our div tag. Let's click it to select it. After we do that, if we click the plus button here below, we can create a new style rule. Clicking that will automatically create a style rule template for the div tag we have selected. By default, this style sheet will not be saved, but we can use it to create some cool styles to work with. So let's define some styles for our div. We'll just say width is 50 picks, height is 50 picks, and background color is dark green. And as you can see, we have our div up there in the corner. So now we can add a transform property to our div. Transform has many possible values you can enter. If you press the tab key, you can see a list of all the properties Chrome will accept for the transform value. First, we'll be looking at translate. We won't be going through all these properties, but sufficient to say they're enough to move any object, rotate, or resize it in 2D or 3D space. So the translate property takes two values within brackets, separated by a comma, which correspond to the X and Y. The values have to be specified in CSS-friendly values, like pixels, although it will also take the number zero. To make these transforms a little easy to see, let's add a transition. Let's just say, create a new style rule and say transition 0.5s for second transform. Now if we enable and disable this property, we'll see the square animating. That's pretty cool. Next, we'll have a look at the rotate transform. So rotate takes a value, one value, inside round brackets, and that value can be specified as degrees or radians. So if I specify 45 deg, it will rotate about 45 degrees. We can have a look at that there. Or if I say 90, it will rotate 90 degrees and so forth. I can also specify in radians. Radians are calculated as a multiple of pi. If you don't understand them, it can be fun to learn a bit about radians. If you want to have multiple transform properties on an object, you can't create multiple rules in the same selector. However, you can add as many transform properties as you want by adding them separated by spaces. So in a space, after rotate, you can type translate and we'll just say 10 pixels, 10 pixels. The last property we're going to talk about is scale. So we can scale an object using transforms by saying scale and passing in one value in round brackets, which will be the multiple of the object. You can see if we pass in two or three or four, the square continues to grow. I hope this increased your understanding of transform.